Welcome to this week's episode of Humans in 5. I'm on my own this week, and today I'd like to take a deeper dive into one essential aspect of our daily lives, communication. These days, a lot of us are learning that we value communication enormously. We're finding creative new ways to stay in touch using a world of virtual tools or distant social gatherings. That being said, these COVID times present some unique challenges to many people out and about communicating in their communities right now. Previously on Humans in 5, I briefly talked about the fact that I'm hard of hearing and have an auditory processing disorder. You can find that episode here. Now there's lots of terminology when we're talking about hearing, so before we go any further, here's a brief recap of the most appropriate lingo. Hard of hearing is the preferred term for people who have varying amounts of hearing loss and use speech as their usual means of communication. There are different types of hearing loss, and the nature of hearing loss can be grouped into categories, including mild, moderate, and severe. Hard of hearing folks are distinct from people who are deaf, with a small d, who have little or no functional hearing. Deaf, with a large d, is a term referring to the community of people who are deaf or hard of hearing who participate in the culture, society, and language of deaf people, which is based on sign language, which functions as their preferred mode of communication. Some people are born with hearing loss, and some people become hard of hearing or deaf during their lifetime. Additionally, there are people with auditory processing disorders who may or may not also be hard of hearing. Even if they don't have hearing loss, they have difficulty processing and interpreting sounds. For example, it can be difficult to distinguish speech from other sounds as some people cannot do that additional processing the brain engages in to separate speech from other background noises that are going on, which can result in people hearing with delays or distortions in sound, making listening quite difficult. For people in these various categories, there are different tools and techniques you can use to communicate with others. Equipment such as hearing aids and cochlear implants can help to make sounds audible to those with hearing loss. Hard of hearing and deaf people may also use subtitles or closed captioning when watching media, and sign language, of course, provides a language that doesn't rely on speech. Lots of people in the hard of hearing and deaf communities also develop the skill of lip reading or speech reading to help interpret speech in scenarios when it's difficult to make out what someone is saying. Some people find they develop this skill as they navigate communication with hearing loss, while some actively learn how to interpret speech by analyzing the movements of the face, lips, and tongue. Even people with normal hearing process some speech information by looking at the way we move our mouths when we're speaking to each other. But if you're like me and don't quite hear like everyone else, you spend an awful lot of time watching people's mouths to make sure you've interpreted them correctly. So, this leads to the existential communication question of our age. What is a lip reader to do during a pandemic where face masks are saving lives, but cutting off ordinary conversation in public? For many people, myself included, we always knew we relied on lip reading to communicate in many settings. Sign language also relies on facial expressions and cues. But the need to be able to see someone's face to understand speech and language has become particularly crystallized lately. Face masks are an essential tool for mitigating the spread of the novel coronavirus, but masks muffle and distort speech, and with the lower half of the face covered, lips can't be seen to help interpret speech sounds. This has left many people, myself included, feeling frustrated and further isolated when out in public. The real question is, as masks are surely set to be part of our lives for the foreseeable future, how are we supposed to navigate speech these days? In the past few months, as people have grappled with this new challenge, some creative solutions have popped up. For example, clear face masks are becoming increasingly available and may help those in public-facing roles ease the line of communications for those who lip-read. Smartphone-based transcription apps that automatically convert speech to text also provide assistance in some settings, and some stores are providing things like whiteboards to help everyone communicate. I obviously can't speak for all people who interpret speech differently, but if you notice that someone is struggling to understand or relay information, some patience and compassion can be hugely beneficial. Also, bearing in the back of your mind that millions of people worldwide have invisible conditions like hearing loss can really help you be more mindful when interacting with friends and strangers in a masked up world. A little bit of kindness and creativity can go a long way. 
thanks for watching and lip reading if that's your jam, and I'll see you next time on Humans in 5. Don't forget to subscribe!